Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to learn how to examine skewness. What types of skewness can you examine in pointwise? Well, there are three. The equal angle skewness is represented as the maximum ratio of a cell's included angle to the angle of the equilateral element. Now, the value varies between 0 and 1, but it is recommended that you keep the value below 0.8 for a good grid. Next is the equal volume, equal area skewness function, which is represented by a ratio of the cell's area vo or volume to the optimum cell area or volume, and only applies to triangles and tetrahedra. The measure varies between 0, which is considered good, and 1, which is considered bad. It is recommended that the skewness measure be kept below 0.8 for a good grid. Values below 0.9 are acceptable, but that depends on your solver. The third is centroid skewness. Now that's defined as 1 minus the maximum dot product between the cell face normal and the vector connecting the cell centroid and the face centroid. Values range from 0, no skew, to 1, which would be a collapsed cell. This measure is only valid for block cells. Let's look at an example. Shown here is the wing pylon store tutorial. I've already initialized this block, so let's go ahead and select the block and go to examine. Now you can see there are lots of things that you can examine, but we're interested in skewness. Equal angle skewness, equal area, equal volume skewness, and centroid skewness. Let's take a look at centroid skewness. All right, now we have our plot that shows up here. Let's turn on the histogram, show histogram. All right, this shows the distribution. Most of our cells are, are pretty low, as you can see, but they do peak at around 0.89. Now that's pushing that 0.9 limit that we had discussed, but of course that does depend on your solver. If you'd like to see where the maximum skewness is, you click on the extreme tab, you click on zoom to maximum, and it takes you all the way right there. Look at that. Let's see if we can take a look at that and see what's up with that. Boy, look at that. That looks almost flat. That's pretty skewed. Look at that. It's a very flat cell. Let's take a look at the, the minimum centroid skewness. That looks like a pretty good rectangular block. If you uncheck the all box, you can individually turn on the cell type. You can look at just the skewness in the hexes, the prisms, perhaps you're only interested in pyramid skewness, or perhaps you're only interested in uh, tetrahedral skewness. So if you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.